I love it. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Australia. A very happy Thursday morning to you. Should I do it? The answer is yes. <clears throat> With us officially in just a few moments. So nothing has changed, you know. Not friend. again. Please. Again and again. I don't think I haven't been doing it when you're not here. For the last ten years, I keep to every now and again. I know, I, I know. It looks like you and I have decided to change clothes, eh? Yeah, well, indeed. Yeah, it's a, in actual fact, I mean, we, we are not dissimilar, yeah. are we? No, I mean, uh, no, no. You don't sound too wrapped in it, but I mean, we, are, we, we look a little alike, don't we? Ever and ever and ever I need. Is that the song you're going to sing for us this morning? That's why you keep drinking that water. Yes. <laughs> That's what you're singing this morning, is it? That's the song? Well, if you want the yeah, I'd Wouldn't you love to hear that forever and ever? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's not generally known, but you'll see for the first time how Demis actually hits that, uh, that top note. I actually travel with him with a broom and just to... <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Demis on this morning show, Tommy Ember this morning, the one, the only, Demis Russo. Demis, officially welcome. It was great to see you. It was very nice. You know, when they told me I was going to come and see you, I was really pleased. Okay, well, I was thrilled that you would do the show because you're so busy at the moment. I mean, first thing on a Thursday morning is not the easiest thing in the world, but you're going to... Hey, would you like some coffee? I've organised some Greek coffee for no. you. Yes, I have. Oh, Louise they... has got it. Good morning, Louise. Good morning. This is Mr. Demis Rousoff. This is, this is Louise. Hello. Did you cook the coffee, Louise? No, I didn't. Angela did. Oh, yeah, Angela did, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, this is good Greek, this... Uh, Angela, yes, yeah. the girl who's looking after you. And she did the coffee, yeah. yeah. Would, uh... Well... If Would you it's, like me to if pour it's it? not good, I didn't do it. No. <laughs> mm. I'll kill that cat. I mean, really, the stew can I... always know with the Greeks, they have just a little cup of coffee. Yes. But I tell you what, it's as powerful as a mule's kick, isn't it? <laughs> Look that I've been kicked by a mule, but there you go. Thank Demis. you very much. Actually, this is not a Greek coffee, it's a Turkish coffee. Oh, Turkish coffee, But when it? you go to Turkey, they call it Turkish coffee. When you go to Greece, they call it Greek coffee. Well, there you go. <laughs> it look like two old poops in a doctor's waiting room. <laughs> Demis, it's exactly like this. Yes. Good, good health to you. Good health to you. There you go. You don't change it. Eh? No, I never change. There's no sense in changing. There we go. Now let's just try this. There's not much in it, is there? I mean, I'll just fill a cavity in my tooth. I don't do it. Oh, it's very nice, though. Very strong. Yeah. You might finish up singing forever and ever I need you. Is that nice? Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> You're very easily pleased. That's Nest Cafe, you know, with a, with a little bit of thing. Demis, uh, you, you travel the world, and I mean, it's obvious that uh, that you have a lot of fun at at what you what you do. When you started out, did you ever realise you were going to become the the Grecian delight that you? I mean, everyone is madly in love How with you. How did you call me the Grecian delight? The Grecian delight. You oh, know, it's I mean, wonderful. Nobody called me yet. Oh, it makes you sound like an old urn, don't I? But I mean, the Grecian. I mean, by that, all of the Greek girls love you, and Australian girls. Well, Love you yeah, I'm, I'm very glad. I've been doing this for the last 30 years, you know. But I reached a point that I, you know, I, I do things the way I like to do them, in, you know. Uh, a lot of artists, they, most of the artists, you know, at the beginning of their career, they just have to follow certain rules and, and do things, you know, they are told. You know. yes. And then when you reach a point that you do things only when you decide to do them, it's even better. Right. Got a little sip, what, uh, sip? Of of the Nescafe. Cafe. Yeah. No, no, actually, it really is. It's, it's Turkish coffee. I just want you to relax and enjoy yeah, this coffee. Yeah. What are your memories of that night when uh, I did you, if you'll pardon the expression, and didn't realise you were still in the building? What do you remember? Oh, it was fantastic, my God. This is, this is something that I will never forget. Uh, we, we could do gigs, you know. Yes. Demis Roussos appears at the same time in two know. different shows. This is the night. <laughs> this is the night itself. And I've got to explain. I had no idea he was in the building still. <laughs> How many years is it? <laughs> and this is the moment. This is the moment. He's about to enter. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> that was what? Good memories. 
he was such a uh, he was such a great sporter that night. I, I'm not too sure whether it was a week before, but not too long uh, before that particular appearance. I'd done on uh, on I on uh, Don Lane show. I had done Gandhi. We had uh, the wonderful Lord Attenborough in talking about his brand new movie for that time. He went back to his hotel. In the meantime, I got on the, the wheel dressed as Gandhi. And he didn't see it, but he heard about it and wasn't too pleased. So he sent one of his English minders back to the studios to complain. By this time, I'm out of the gear. I'm about to leave. He recognised me from civilian bits that I'd done earlier in the show and said, look, I'm looking for the man who had the audacity to do Gandhi on tonight's show. I said, well, I think I can help you there. So we spent an hour searching the building <laughs> for the man who did it, and he didn't realise I was the bloke who'd done it. So and he saw you, you dressed as Gandhi? No, he heard about it. So he, ah, he, he sent one of you, his, yeah. uh, his... But you didn't mind at all. Oh, I suppose there's a difference between yourself and, and Gandhi. Richard Underborough. No, no. <laughs> but you didn't mind at all. I mean, you... Oh, there's a big about, difference between me and... Gandhi. Well, of course there is. You lost a lot of weight and then you're, you're back to uh, your comfortable riding weight, I noticed. Yes, the riding weight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, the important is to feel good, to feel healthy and to feel good, and this is it. I saw on Don Burke's program, <laughs> Burke's Backyard, your house, it is magnificent. Tell us something about it. Oh, no, it's just well filmed, you see. Oh, no, it's, it's good. <laughs> Whereabouts is it? It's in Greece, in, uh, it's in about... Uh, uh, 15, 20 kilometers outside of Athens, mm -hmm. and it is uh, in a, by the seaside, where there is no pollution, <laughs> because and in Athens there's a lot of pollution. Have you lived there long? <laughs> well, I don't live really there. I live in France, you see, but I have oh, a, yeah. a house in Greece, and this is, uh, this is, I didn't see this show, actually. It's the first time I see it. Good show. Now, who, who lives in the house in Greek, uh, Greece when you're not there? Well, I have uh, staff, you know, oh, you? staff right. and dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Just that I'm going to Greece in a couple of months, so I'm looking for a nice place to stay. Well, uh, I can rent it. I can lend it. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, tell us about the hijacking. That must have been just the, the yeah. most horrendous well, thing to happen. Well, to. yeah, at the moment it is, you know. I mean, actually, it's very funny because the, I was in Australia, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, at the moment it is something you feel weird, you know, strange. What year was that? In 85. Mm -hmm. That's the last time I was in Australia. But, you know, after, after many years... Me, was that your caftan hanging out there? Yes. <laughs> I lent it to him. <laughs> you look a little distressed there, and of course that would be the understatement. Well, you would be like this. <laughs> well, of course I would. Of course I would. Anybody would be like this. Anyway, but, I mean, after that you feel, with the time passing, you feel... It's a, it's a good experience. I mean, it's an interesting experience. Not that you choose to go through it, but it, it happened. No, no, of course you don't choose. The, right. But after, you know, I, I, after many years, when the time passes, you realize that uh, it, is, it, it is an experience in life to go near death. Near, near and how long were you hijacked for? How long were you imprisoned? Uh, well, I was not really in prison, you see. I was in a, in a house. Yeah, but I mean, basically. Yeah, basically, like in prison. Well, not long. They couldn't afford me because I was eating too much. <laughs> You eat him out of house and home, with you? <laughs> so how did you how did you keep your mind together? Uh, how did you keep your mind together? Well, I, I I can do that. I can do that. I can do. I can control my mind. I'm... You've got a busy time coming up in Australia. I'll do the dates in just a few moments' time. Just let me say how terrific it is to have you back uh, in Australia. Thank you, Beth. You're a super performer, but also, uh, apart from that, you're a great bloke, too. And I look forward to the song this morning. But thanks for giving us your time. It's Thank much you for, appreciated. Thank you for having me, and it's really a pleasure to come and see you again. You know? Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Demis. <laughs> Demis Roussos, and after break, another champion from the world of sport. A thrill to have him with us this morning. He's going to be a busy boy. Tomorrow night he's at Burswood Showroom in Perth. Then on Thursday the 17th of September at Wollongong Entertainment Centre. Then on to the New Seagulls, Tweed Heads, uh, the Evan Theatre, Penrith Panther, uh, Panthers, the Crown Palladium on Sunday the 27th of September. And then Monday, the following Monday, in other words Sunday, Monday and Tuesday at Crown Palladium. He will kill them. He'll kill you this morning too. And guess what he's going to sing? The song that I made famous. Here's Demis Roussos.
Wonderful. My friend, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Just terrific hearing you uh, sing that again. We couldn't show the mandolin player, by the way. He's a public servant. He's doing a bit of moonlighting, but uh, he played beautifully uh, too. And this is the CD, which I didn't show before. This is called The Phenomenon, and that's exactly what it is. And just down there, it says 1968 to 1998. They're going to find this CD in 100 years' time and say, this artist is so wonderful. Yeah. Un unfortunately, only lived for 30 years. But <laughs> <laughs> they're going to think you were born in 68 and then said goodbye in 1998. <laughs> Great to see you uh, again. And also, good luck tomorrow night, Burswood. And also, from a personal point of view, Thank you for being so nice to my daughter, Lauren, whom you met at Crown. She works there. Yes, yes. And she said you're just the most delightful artist and one of the friendliest to come to Crown, and they've had a lot there. So thank you for that. Thank too. you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me, and I hope to see you not in 30 years. In a couple of years? A mm, couple of months? I hope so. <laughs> well, I'll ring you from your estate over there in Greece, because I can stay there just for a couple of months. Can I? That's right. Just before. What's the rent like, by the way? Very high? Mm. For me? For a friend? Uh, I'll make you a price, okay? Yes, I know. That's what I'm terrified of. <laughs> Just before you leave us, I have one thing to say to you, and of course, now you probably can guess it. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend. Bless you. Thank you, Baba. Well, there you go. Something happened in 1998 that didn't happen 20 years ago on the Don Lane Show. He gave me a kiss. I'll never wash my neck again. Be careful of the transplants, too. Just be careful next time you do it. Now, on That's why I don't kiss you. I, no, it's not the only reason. You're leaving? Oh, okay. Here's, uh, here's Susie.